Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel, which I am always grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do an Aquarius love prediction reading for September 2nd through September 8th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it. Leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled, honored, and very grateful if you decided to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my peaceful, loving, fun, kind Aquarius. Show me spirit guides. What's going on my aquas? Let's see Aquarius what you got going on. Show me spirit guides. Eight of Pentacles. The Magician. The Devil. Hmm. Four of Cups. And the Six of Pentacles. Well, Aquarius, whomever this is, is in your love space. Huh, you're obsessed with uh, with them. I will say that there's an obsession that's going on with him with them. Um, first of all, the Eight of Pentacles. You know, there's going to take a lot of work uh, and manifestation for you to get this person. Um, you know, there's going to take a lot of work. I don't know why it's going to be so hard or difficult for you to get this man or you to get this woman. It could go either way, but there is a lot of work that you have to put in in order to get this woman. Perhaps she's with someone else or he's with someone else. Perhaps, I, I don't know, um, he's not thinking about you or not looking at you. I don't know, but there's going to take a lot of work for you to get this man. Because the Eight of Pentacles, you're willing to put in the work, though. You're, you're willing to put in the work to manifest him into your life. In other words, whatever you need to do, and I'm going to be very honest. If you're a woman, it could be that you need to lose weight. I'm just, I'm, don't get upset with me, okay? I am saying there is something that you need to do to get this person in your life. And it takes work. It's going to take work. But you're working on it because there's a manifestation card, that which is, which is the magician. You're manifesting this person into your life but why, by whatever you're doing now. Whatever you're doing now, whatever, you know, you're tweaking yourself, uh, maybe you're going to school, I don't know, whatever it is, you're going to get this person in your life because there is an obsession here. There is an obsession here. That devil card, that devil card is um, obsession, lust. I mean, all you, you this, this person is on you all the time. Um, there's just an obsession with having this person. You want them, you know what you want, and you're obsessed with getting them. Bottom line, the Four of Cups is here, though, that's next to the Six of Pentacles. Uh, and what's interesting to me about this is that the Four of Cups is about pulling back the love, pulling back, trying to pull back. Because there's an obsession here, I think you're trying to pull back. But it's next to the Six of Pentacles because I think you've been giving this person a lot of your time, a lot of your energy, and I don't think you're getting the results that you want yet. So what you've decided to do is sit back. It's just, you know, say, no, I'm not interested. Be empathetic. I'm not empathetic. Just not care about this. Not care about it. But, you know, it's kind of hard for you not to care about it because this person is kind as well, I think. But here's the deal. You're trying to pull back because the Six of Pentacles is a, a give and take relationship. It's a it's a, it's a, um, a love that is, you know, very, very uh, consuming. In other words, you guys talk to each other. You love on each other, but they don't, I don't think they really know just how obsessed you are with, with having them. I'm not quite sure this relationship has manifested the way that you want it to yet. I think that you are trying to manifest this, and I do believe that you are obsessed with them. I think it's overwhelming to you because you this, this person or whomever this man or woman, whomever I'm reading for, you want this person so badly. You want this person so badly, so you try to pull away from them. But you know what? It doesn't matter because the love is still there. Because, see, they're kind. Because the Six of Pentacles is here. You guys have great conversations. You have you know how to talk to each other. Um, there's love and generosity here. 
That's what's here with this relationship. Even though you try to pull back because it's not manifested the way you want to, you want to take it to the next level. And what, whomever this is, it has not manifested to the next level yet. It has not. Now, the devil card does represent a Capricorn sun sign. Could be anyone, but the devil card can represent a Capricorn sun sign. But whoever this person is, it just has not manifested into the relationship that you want. So you're trying to deny it. You're trying to deny this, this feeling that you have for this person, but you can't. As I say in the beginning, though, there's something with this Eight of Pentacles. You are working on yourself. There is something that you need to do or something that you're working on, whether it's weight, whether it's, I don't know, whether it's going to school. I don't know, but there's something that you're working on so that you can get this person. But there's an obsession here with getting them. So give me three to five minutes. Let me clarify the reading. Show me. Sit back, relax. Just give me three to five minutes, Aquarius. Let me uh, clarify the reading just to see what exactly the Spirit Guides additional information. The Spirit Guides want you to know why. Why is this eight of pentacles here show me spirit guys why is the eight of pentacles here for my aquarius up oh, the hierophant the hierophant now my hierophant can represent a taurus sun sign it can represent a taurus sun sign um but the hierophant is also about commitment um there's a commitment here. There, there's something you, I, I think you really, because the Hierophant can mean marriage as well, but commitment, you want a commitment with this person. You are working hard because you want a commitment with this person. Perhaps it's just been surf, surface level, um, but you have fallen in love. You, 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 um, you want a commitment with this person. You want a commitment. You don't want it to be surface. You want to take it to the next level. Perhaps your friends, I'm going to be very honest, but you want to be lovers. Perhaps your friends, but you want to be lovers. So let's see why the magician card is here. Show me spirit, guys. And that may be what you're trying to manifest too. But you're doing your own personal tweaks as well. And I'll say that again. You're working on yourself. So let's see why the uh, magician card is here. Show me. Oh, I have the judgment card. Yeah. See, I'm going to be very honest with you. Uh-huh. I strongly believe you're friends, but you want to be lovers. You're friends, but you want to be lovers. That judgment card is, a, is an aha moment. It's like, oh, wow, it, it hit you. It hit you. This manifestation, this judgment card, it, it has hit you that you really want to be with this person. You want more than friendship. You want to be lovers. You want more than friendship. You want to be lovers. That is what's going on. You want more than friendship. You want to be lovers with this person. So let's see why the devil card is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the devil card here? Now, the devil card can also mean lust, obsession. I'm telling you, lust, obsession, intimacy, incredible intimacy. So let's see why the devil card is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the devil card here? Eight of Pentacles again. The Eight of Pentacles again. Whenever the spirit guides give you the same card in the reading, that means I... I'm on track, and whomever I'm reading for, I'm telling you exactly what the spirit guides want you to know. Um, there's going, it's going to take work. It's going to take work, but this obsession that you have with this person, you're willing to put in the work to be with them, uh, because you realize now you want to go from friends to lovers. You're willing to put in the work that it's going to take to get this person. This is a person that you want to be with. You want friends to lovers. You're obsessed. And I do, I think there's an, I think you think about them all the time. You think about them in more than just a friendship way, wink, wink, you know what I'm saying? You think about the intimacy that could be, that's what I think. Or maybe that has been in the past that you really want back and that you found out that you really are in love with them. Could be that. So let's see why the Four of Cups is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Four of Cups here? Knight of Cups. Well, 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 well. Yeah, see, as I said, and this is this is definitely a man that may be coming after you if you're an, uh, a woman. But this Knight of Cups energy, he's, he's smooth. He knows how to talk. He knows what to say, how to say it. All of the above. But he's saying, telling you, in this cup, in this cup that he has, look, I want you, because this is definitely friends to lovers. I mean, I want you. I got everything. I know you. I know I can be compassionate, kind, love. Whatever you need, I have in this cup. 
I just need you to come and be committed to me. I just need you to be committed. That's what he's saying. I just need you to be committed. I need you to understand that. I need you to understand. I'm willing to put in the work. I'm willing to put in the work as well. Let's see why the Six of Pentacles is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? That's that temperance card. Temperance can represent a Sagittarius sun sign. But the temperance card, like I said, you're willing to put in the patience. Your temperance is patience. It's tempering yourself. It's taking the time. It's, it's putting all of the steps together. Mixing it up. Trying to figure out what it's going to take to get this person. Temperance. Trying to, you know, when you see the card, you see the angel mixing water, they said, to wine. You know, just trying to put all the elements together. Being patient. Being kind. Just sitting there. Trying to say, I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to get you because you want, you're going from friends to lovers. You want to be more than just friends. Now, let's look at the beginning. Here's the eight of pentacles. You know you got to put in the work. Whatever you're doing, you're putting in the work to get this person because you want a commitment from them. That Hierophant card is there, which represents the Taurus sun sign. But the Hierophant is about a commitment. You want a commitment. You don't want it. You are friends with this person, but you want more. Here's a magician, the manifestation, my magic card, I call it. You've been manifesting this person. You've been manifesting, manifesting them. Whatever you're doing, you're manifesting. Like I said, you're working on yourself or you have worked on yourself to get this person. You guys are friends now, but you want to be lovers. The judgment card is there. That's the realization card. It, it almost like hit you like a ton of bricks that you love this person, that what you wanted, that you wanted more than just friendship. That you wanted more than just friendship. It hit you like a ton of bricks. Not only that, the devil card is here, there. You're obsessed. It can represent a Capricorn sun sign as well. But you're obsessed with being with this person. And you're willing to put in the work. I'll say it again. That eight of pentacles. You're willing to put in the work. Thank you, spirit guys. They gave it to you twice. Whomever I'm reading for. You're willing to put in the work because there's an obsession here. That you, um, there is something. The devil card always gets a bad rap. It does represent a Capricorn sun sign, but it gets a bad rap because they say it's it's an addiction. Um, it's it's it is what it is, but it's an obsession. You know what you want and you're going after it. And also to be in love with someone, you have to be obsessed with that energy. You want to be around them all the time because of the natural high that they put you on. Four of Cups is here. You're trying to fight the feeling, but you can't. He's coming at you. That Knight of Cups, hey, I got what you need, girl. Anything you need, want, I got it in that cup. I know you. No one else knows you like I do. Then there's that Six of Pentacles is there. That Six of Pentacles and that Temperance. Um, temperance is being patient. You don't care how long it takes, you're going to get this. You don't care how long it takes. It's, that shows with the Eight of Pentacles. And that Six of Pentacles because he's loving, he's kind. You try to pull it away, but you can't. You keep coming right back to it. Let's see. Show me what my oracles have to say. Show me what my, or, oh, meditation brings answers. Meditation brings answers, absolutely. Absolutely, prayer works. Oh, big happy changes. Big happy changes. You're ready. Remain positive. And it's up to you. 